What is going on guys, we're back with another video. Today we have the Gonzaga 2020-2021 men's basket, well, basketball yearbook. It's got the women's in it too, or yeah, women's in it. Uh, and they're on, they're on the front. I don't know their names, let's see if it says it. Leanne Worth, Jill Townsend, and Jen Worth. So I guess her sister's on the team. They look kind of similar. It's, those two that are the sisters and then it's got for the men's it's got jalen suggs on the top joelle ie my favorite player and corey kispert uh joelle ie is my favorite player for gonzaga i know he's not the absolute best on the team but he's my favorite and so it's just got like to start it's got unfinished business talking about how last year uh they we're probably going to be at one seed and they didn't get to play because of COVID shutting down Marsh Madness. And so Corey Kispert and Joel Yai decided to return to Gonzaga for another year. And then it's got introducing the tricky trio and it's got Julian Strother, Dominic Harris, and Jalen Suggs. Those are the fr three freshmen. So I guess they're called the tricky trio. I think Dominic Harris and Julian Strother are going to get a lot more minutes next year okay and then it gets into the actual yearbook part so first up we got the seniors aaron cook they all got their own page with a ton of information on it uh but it would take a really long time to read all of it then we got Corey kispert's page another senior now we're on to the juniors those are the only two seniors first up joella yai redshirt junior is what he is and then now we're just on regular junior Andrew Nemhart, who I think is going to have a huge role next year, and I think could potentially make it to the NBA. And then we got Matthew Lang, who is kind of a bench warmer. He doesn't play much except for garbage minutes. So he's he still gets a full page, though. Another player like that, Will Graves, he doesn't play much. Uh, he is also a junior. Then we got Drew Timmy. We're on to the sophomores. He will probably go on to the NBA after this year, um, along with Kispert and Ayayi that we already showed. And then we got another bench player that doesn't play much, uh, Ars Lauskis. He does not really play that much, but he's one of the first guys off the, uh, off the very back of the bench to come in. Another player off the bench, Pavel Zakharov. He really doesn't get too many minutes at all. And then we got another starter, Anton Watson. What was he? Is he a sophomore? Yeah, he's a sophomore. I think he'll have a pretty big role next year. Kind of, I'm really excited to see what he can do. Uh, yeah, I think him and Nemhart can take the big step next year. Along with, hopefully, Chet Holmgren. I hope we get him. And then we got a redshirt freshman. We're on to the freshman now, Omar Balo. He's been injured for a little bit as of recent, but he's pretty good backup center. Hopefully, he gets a little bit more coordinated and athletic and gets to play more. And then we got some more players that are freshmen, and I haven't really seen – I haven't seen either of these two, so I'm assuming they're redshirting. We got Colby Brooks and Abe Eagle. I haven't seen either of those two. Maybe Abe Eagle. I don't think I've seen either of them play, though. So I'm assuming the red shirts. And then we got Dominic Harris and Evan Inglesby, who I think is probably another red shirt because I have not heard of him either. Dominic Harris, though, is kind of towards the back of the rotation. Same with Julian Strother. And then Jalen Harris, who is projected to go anywhere from two to four he's gonna probably be a top five draft pick so he's probably just a one and done hopefully that's it that's all the players hopefully we can win the national championship now while we have all these players but you never know maybe since Jalen Suggs and Chet Holmgren were high school teammates maybe he'll pass the word on and be like hey Gonzaga is a nice place to go and then Chet will be like all right I'm coming
never know. Hopefully, it seems like a possibility, and we'll have to, we'll just have to see. And then it's just got like a season preview. Then it's got a page about Mark Few, which is the coach. If you didn't know, and I don't think you guys are that interested in the girls. Uh, and then it's just kind of talking about the West Coast Conference, which is the Gonzaga's conference. And then it gets into the girl stuff. But then at the back of the book, let's get to it. It's got all the all-time records, which I think is super cool. Uh, and it's even got like Zags in the pro, in the pros. So these are all the players right here on this page that have ever played a game in the NBA. Uh, if you want to see these, you can go to like, I think it's Real GM or Basketball Reference and you can find it. And then it's got Zags in the pros. These are everyone that's been drafted. So a lot of these guys never played like way back when they used to have like 27 rounds or whatever. They used to have so many. Let me see how many rounds. Like what's the most I see on here? The 15th round for Bill Quigg. Never heard of him. And then it's got like a cool John Stockton thing because he's our best alumni out of Gonzaga. Probably uh, second would be DeMontis Sabonis. So there's John Stockton. It's got his poster. Oh, and then it's got a picture down below of Zach Collins. And then they show this every once in a while. They have like a jersey for every Gonzaga player. I'm trying to do that as best I can. I've never actually seen that wall, but I want to see it so bad in person. And then it's got some more pictures. These are like the all time records. They do this every single year. I have so many of these yearbooks, I would say. So I have 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016. 2015 and then I think I have a 2010 one so I think I have eight I think that's my eighth one which is crazy I could show off the rest of those later if you guys want to see them uh there's Schmidt Karnowski and DeMontis Sabonis and the pictures with all the men's records and then it's got the females records on the next page but yeah that's pretty much it one last look and then the back of the book if you're wondering it's just an ad but this is what it looks like um I get them every year let me know if you want to see the rest of these uh, you could just put them all in one big video because I don't think you guys are interested that much in like past ones. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Uh, that is it. Also, just let me know if you guys want to see any other videos. Someone said show off your basketball bags. So I, I have two really cool ones. So let me know if you guys want to see what my basketball bags look like. I got some nice Nike Elite ones. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. See you guys later. Peace out.